<laughs> oh, fellas, it's time for full disclosure. I had we we post a lot of times uh, when we're doing these projects. We we post our successes and the failures. Never never see YouTube. I'm just throwing it out there. I screwed up. I've screwed up worse in my life, but this, you know, this is just, I'm just being honest here. Just trying to be honest. The tank, I posted the first part of the restoration on that fuel tank. It was going great. It was going great. The weather had, we had finally melted off the first round of, the, the first big snow we got this year. And we had some good weather. So, I come out in the garage, and I thought it'd be a good time to start the tank restoration. And I did the first video, and it went great. First day, I actually, you know, I could have, I considered calling it a wrap on it. But according to, according to the instructions on the bottle of cream, it said for extra protection, wait six hours and recoat. So, that's what I was going to do. Because, because, this is for a really good friend of mine, and I thought, man, you know, he, he's a good dude. This is a cool project. I'm going to give it another coat. I wanted a really good lining in that tank. Now, this isn't a failure on, we're not, I'm not here to down cream. The product it's a good product I've used it before I've lined tanks with it before what happened to me day two it was cooler in the garage than it was when I when I did the first coat and I wasn't thinking about the cream thickening so I go in round two and I'm I'm, I'm started out everything's going good and it's not moving it's not moving in the tank and I didn't in my mind I didn't put it together that it's cooler today so I'm standing it I had my back to the stove pipe and I'm warming myself up and I'm reading that can of cream and it says uh, how did it, let me just get the can so I'm reading this bottle of cream trying to figure out why it, it isn't moving around in the tank it started puddling a little bit and it, it on the tank here let me see Lower temperatures can cause increased viscosity of a temporary nature. So I'm reading the back of this bottle of cream and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So I bring the, the tank over in front of the wood stove and I set a bucket on this stool to where this air would blow on it. And in my distraction, I let it get too warm. It wasn't hot, hot, but it got too warm and it ran off and got thin. So I'm like, and what a bummer. So I started rolling around trying to, trying to, you know, get it back where, get the cream back where it needed to be in the tank. And in the process of all of that, originally it was cooler and it was puddling. And I didn't, didn't want that. I want to even coat. And then I try to warm it up a little bit, lose track of time. It gets too thin. In the process of all of that, it started setting on me. And me trying to keep it away from the stove where it would run off, I backed it off and it, it just started setting. It started setting. And I thought I had it under control. And then I realized this stuff is setting and it's not moving. We'll take a look at it. You, you know, honestly, a person could have just let it go. But I didn't want to just let it go because, let me show you. Let me show you why. It's not. The owner of that bike, he's a good friend of mine. He gave that to me. Well, he didn't give it to me. I, I was over at his house. He said, hey, man, you got a quarter? I said, well, yeah. I think. So I, I dug in my pocket. I got a quarter out. I handed it to him, and he handed me this. Case double X, stainless with a leather-wrapped handle. That's the kind of guy he is, you know? 
And, it, you know, it, it's not because of, it's solely because that he's a good guy. I mean, there's just integrity. You want to give somebody the, the a good product, but for a friend like that, I go the extra mile. And I'm not, you know, that I'm not trying to make myself look like a good guy in all this. That's not what I'm saying. The, the thing about it is, is it's, I guess it just comes down to integrity, you know. What kind of, what do you want to give somebody? Well, in all my efforts to do the right thing and to recoat the tank for a buddy of mine that would give me a knife like that, and that's not the only thing he's done. He's like, he's the kind of guy, you know, <clears throat> times are hard sometimes. Food got a little lean around the house one time, and old Darren, <clears throat> he butchered a cow. He just brings me a big sack of beef. I, I mean, I don't know how much the beef would have cost if you bought it in the store, but it's about integrity. Sometimes, man, when you got some, there are things that are far more important than our stuff in life. I guess is what I'm saying here. And also, we fail. This is, you know, I'm sure a lot of guys will come back. Well, I don't like cream. It's this and it's that. It's not the cream's fault. This is my fault. I've used cream before. I've lined gas tanks with it before, and it's a good product. The difference is I used it in the summertime. I can't remember when I did that bike, but <clears throat> I did a. I used. I've used a POR 15. I like it. I've lined both wagon tanks with it, but I. I used the cream, and it was back in the spring. I didn't have the viscosity problems, and I wasn't thinking. So it's not a cream problem, and uh, for all you guys out there that are going to say, well, you should have done this, you should have done that, you know, hey, this is reality. This is what it's like in a garage. This is what it's like in real life. We make mistakes. We, we have failures, and uh, I'm like everybody else. I don't like broadcasting my failures. <laughs> I don't. We all want to <clears throat> appear to know <clears throat> more than we know sometimes. You know, that's human nature, I think. But the reality is we had a failure. We had a flop. What we're going to do today is try to fix the flop. So, <clears throat> before you get carried away, guys, with, with you should have done this and you should have done that, you and I both know the reality of working in the garage and the reality of this world is we're going to have failures. So, I'm going yeah, to take care of this fire. And, I'm going to, Get back on that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna deline that tank. We're gonna take that cream out of there. You can see where it started pulling up there. I was I was working it over the back side of this tunnel. I didn't want it pulling on this side. My pet cock is over on this side over over here on the right. So I was trying to get everything to drain around, and it started hanging up. In efforts to hold the acetone in, I've got a little aluminum foil and I took some wire and twisted it around that neck where the petcock goes. We're going to dump about a, start with about a half a quart of acetone and see if we can get that to loosen up. It's going to take a while, I'm sure. Hours and hours to get all that out of there. But it's got to go. I'm going to get a, I'm not going to use this lid on here. I'm afraid that acetone will hurt that lid. I'm going to get a piece of tape and put on it, hold my hand over it, shake it around a little bit. We we'll use a piece of duct tape. And we'll let the acetone do its job. What a bummer. We're going to check in on our progress and see how our cream removal is. See how it's going. It's been about oh two hours, something like that. Well, it's working, guys. You can see that how heavy that was. The rest of it's the rest of the uh, cream around that glob is dissolved. It's going to be an overnight process. I can see that. Take a peek back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm trying to get you a good camera angle. It's working. It's going to take a while. 
it's taking it right off there I've been sloshing it around shaking it around looks like we're getting rid of the old cream coat I believe what I'm gonna do because of the weather and so on and so forth I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this out I'm gonna let that set overnight let it do its thing when we're done with it I believe I'm going with the POR 15 it's a thin much thinner liner and I don't be believe it'd be so affected by the cool weather so I, I believe we're gonna go with the POR 15 and uh, yeah we'll pick it back up there